Hey, here we go. Buzzback TV, Cass Hall. Thank you for joining us today, sir. Thank you for having me. Now, you are the father of the talented, the beautiful, and absolutely amazing Tamron Hall. Is that correct? Yes, I am. So, what I would like to do is get into your backstory a little bit and start with your name because. You have quite a unique name in Cass. Is it short for anything else like Cassidy, Casanova, anything other such? It's just straight Cass, named after my grandfather, Cass Thompson. Okay. And where were you born? I was born in Crockett, Texas to Goree and Hazel Hall, November 28, 1949. Okay, now for our audience who may not know where like Crockett is located in Texas, that's considered South Texas or East Texas or Southeast Texas? It's considered Southeast Texas, which is located 116 miles from Houston, north of Houston coming toward Dallas. 127 miles from Dallas. and. 120 miles from Houston, so kind of right in the middle, so to speak. Yes. Uh, now, Crockett was uh, actually named after David Crockett. Is that the history of Crockett, Texas? Yes, it's been reported that David Crockett passed through Crockett on the way to the Alamo to fight at the Alamo. Mm -hmm. And at the time, it was a spring water spring and that's where he stopped to refill and replenish his water supply mm. and we also have that spring located in the downtown Crockett where you can stop and see the spring and get water there. Okay. I, I looked up a couple of facts about Crockett. It says it was incorporated in 1837 in Houston County which is the oldest county and Crockett is actually the fifth oldest city in Texas which is pretty cool, so, uh, and you pretty much grew up in Crockett? I grew up in Crockett. Uh, I left Crockett in 1968 after I graduated from Ralph J. Bunch High School. During the period of growing up, I went to several places uh, from my freshman to my senior year, Corpus in Houston doing summers and had summer jobs to help my parents uh, buy my clothes myself for school. Okay. And did you have any siblings? Uh, I had three sisters and one brother. A brother, one older brother, one older sister. Then four years later, me. Then four years after me, two sisters. Okay. And you all grew up in Crockett with your mother and your father, is that correct? Yes, we grew up with my mother and father and my grandmother, Rosabel Wheeler, who lived, always lived on the next street over, but was back and forth to our house. And during the period of uh, growing up with her, I, I was a companion in traveling to Philadelphia, Chicago, East St. Louis on a train to visit with my grandfather who worked as a conductor, a porter at least on the train system and we would travel and visit with him. Okay. And uh, okay, so okay, let me let me back up a, a little bit. Your your father, Mr. Gory Hall, he actually fought in World War Two, is that correct? Yes. Okay, that's pretty cool. And uh, your father's parents, do you recall any information? about them? Uh, I never knew my grandmother on my father's side. She died early. Mm -hmm. My grandpa, Paul Paul, mm -hmm. he lives in a small community outside of Crockett, which was considered Germany, Texas. He had a, uh, the Germany community at least, he had a farm out there which he grew all types of vegetables and sold and invited us out all the time to pick our own vegetables to store for the woman. Okay. And, and what about your 
mother, the queen mother, Queen Hazel Hall. Can you tell us a little bit about her life? Uh, my mother uh, was born in Crockett, raised by my grandfather and grandmother. My grandmother uh, stayed in Crockett when my grandfather began to travel with the train system and back and forth to East St. Louis and off the East Coast with the train. During that process, he purchased a chicken farm and a hog farm, which he raised chickens and hogs on his farm. Okay. And you know, an uh, interesting thing that I, I, I noted, you spoke about your brother speaking a language called Tut. Is there anything that you recall about the the Tut lingo or the Tut slang or its origin or anything? Uh, it was considered a slang like uh, you would call Moroccan slang. Well, Moroccans speak Arabic, mm -hmm. but they also have a slang which they communicate with each other that was a little over other people's head so they wouldn't exactly know what they were talking about. It was like a pig Latin. Like pig Latin, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, does the family have any uh, American Indian heritage that you know of? Yes, uh, my grandmother mm -hmm. on my mother's side, her mother had Indian traits and with her. My grandmother on my father's side, he also, she also had Indian traits from her family. And my grandfather on my mother's side, mm -hmm. it was considered that he had Indian in him, but it was never specified because uh, we didn't get to do the DNA. But being a tall, dark-skinned, African-American man, his hair was always Native American-looking hair. Oh, okay. And they, they grew up, uh, you spoke of your grandparents growing up in, like, in South Carolina or being someone affiliated with the Geechee? Uh, yeah, uh, on my father's side, they were, his mother grew up, and in the North Carolina area where they migrated in with a tribe considered uh, Marauders. I haven't gotten it straight yet, but I will put that in later. Okay, okay. So that's cool. Uh, uh, thank you for that. Uh, the, okay, so what I want to do now is walk you through a little bit of the history. You said you was born in 1949. So, you saw quite a bit in your life, I'm sure, and experienced quite a lot. Uh, in 1950, uh, Harry Truman was the president. Now, I know you don't recall you were just born, but I was just going to walk you through a series of events that you experienced in your lifetime. So, in 1953, we have uh, Dwight Eisenhower. So, you saw Truman, you saw Dwight Howard. I'm sorry, I said Dwight Howard. Dwight Eisenhower as the 34th president. Nixon was the vice president. Uh, in 1954, you had the Tournament of Roses Parade, which became the first event nationally televised in color. So you were actually born at a time before color television even came out. I'm not sure if you was aware of that. Uh, what elementary school did you attend growing up in that time? Uh, the same name, Ralph J. Bunch Elementary, and it was also Ralph J. Bunch High School. Before that, it was considered to be Ralph Bunch Colored School before my time. And, and what was it like growing up in Crockett during those times? If I know if you don't remember much, uh, so young, but what was it like in the, the 50s? Let me walk you through a couple of other significant events first.
Her mother getting married when she was eight. She was a teenager when her mother actually married this guy because I was still married to her mother when she was eight. We had a nice apartment, we dressed nice, Tamara had all the devices she wanted. As far as a shotgun living raised in the house, uh, plus there are people out there who know, because I was well known, and I was well liked, and she was well liked. And day to day, people want to know why, and I can't say nothing, but I have no idea.